Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017 DILR slot 1 is based on a data table and it was of moderate level. It says that a study to look at the early learning of rural kids was carried out in a number of villages spanning three states chosen from the northeast, the west and the south. So we are given three regions, northeast, west and south denoted by N, E, W and S. We are given that 50 four-year kids each were sampled from each of the 150 villages from northeast. So 50 into, one, uh, 50 into 150, northeast will have 7500 kids. Similarly, 250 villages from W and 50 students from it. So W, it will be 12500 and 200 villages from S. So S will have 10,000 students being surveyed, right? Now, it was found that 30,000 students kids. So, uh, we have this 20 plus 10, 30,000. They were surveyed. 55% studied in primary schools run by government, which is denoted by G. So, 30,000 ka 55%. That is 16,500 will be in G. 37%, 37 into 3 is 111, so 11,100 in P, that is private schools and the remaining 8% did not go to school, so denoted by O, so 8 means 2400. So these are the totals, like 16,500 in government, uh, private schools 11,100 and 2400 not going to school. Now, these kids were further divided into two groups based on whether their mothers dropped out of school before completing primary education or not. Now, the table below gives the number of kids in different types of schools for mothers who dropped out. So, these are the mothers who dropped out. The mothers of the kids, not the kids. Okay. Now, there will be a set of kids whose mothers completed the education. That is the second part. So basically, we know the grand totals from here and we will have to make another table with the same headers G, P, O and N, E, W and S and calculate the figures for the number of kids whose mothers completed their education. So I am filling it in this table itself. So G, there are total of 16,500 students. Okay, 16,500. And in this given table, we have 13,500. So, the remaining students are 3,000. Now, since the values here are, I see that they are multiples of 100. And this is how you should attempt also questions in the examination by ignoring the zeros. So, it is 3,000. Let me write 30. Similarly, this was 11,100. So, I will take 111 and this is given as 2700. So, for the, uh, the students whose mothers completed education, it is 8400. 24 minus 18 is 600. So, these are values in hundreds. And total 30,000. So, uh, 18,000 here, 12,000 will fill in here. So, it is 120, right? Okay. Now, the other thing is that Northeast, there were 7500 students. These are 5000. So, remaining are 25. West, 12500. This is 7300. So, 52, 10,000 and 5700. So, it will be 4300. So, this is for the second table, similar table that will be filled. Okay. Now, we will come to the points and fill the remaining values. So, the first point says that in S, 60% of the surveyed kids were in G. Okay. So, how many students were surveyed in S? 10,000. So, out of them, 6,000 are in G. 6,000 are in G. So, this is already 5,100. We will have 900 in the second category. Okay. Moreover, in S, all surveyed kids whose mothers had completed primary education were in school. Now, this point is important to understand. The kids whose mothers had completed primary education. So, this was the table for dropout. We are filling the table for completing the education. Complete education 
so these kids were in school so that means this value is going to be zero because this denotes the people who do not go to school so all of them are in schools that means this is zero now this total is 43 this is 9 hence this value will be 34 that means 3400 Next is in any among the O kids. Okay, so now we are going to any among the O kids. 50% had mothers who had dropped out before completing primary education. So 50% had dropped out. That means the remaining 50% will be completing the education. So it will also be 300. Now 3, this is 3 and this is 6. So remaining value will be 3. Okay, so this is also done. Now we are left with just these four values. And the third point which says the number of kids in G in NE was same as G in W. So G in NE is equal to G in W. Now for dropped out mothers uh, it is same. So it should be same for the women who completed education. So 30 is there, 9 is there. 30 minus 9, 21. 21 by 2 is 10.5. So I am writing 10.5. That essentially means 1050. Okay, this means 1050. Similarly, 10.5 here also. Okay, so now these two values are left, can be calculated from the totals. 10.5 plus 313.5. So this will be 11.5. 10.5, 313.5, 52. 52 minus 13.5. 39 minus 0.5 is 38.5. So this value is 38.5. So essentially 3850. Okay. So in the next slide, we will have the second table also, and uh, that will help us to answer the questions. First question is what percentage of kids from S were studying in P? So in P, what percentage of students from S were studying? So from S we had not 334, this is 3400, right? So we had 3700 students, okay, 3700 students out of 10,000 students. So it is 37%. Next question. So this is the table which is a, which has separated values. So this was the, old, uh, the given table and this is what we calculated just now, right? So same things, North, East, West, South, GPO. And these are the figures for the students whose mothers completed the education. Now, next question says, among the kids in W whose mothers had completed primary education, how many were not in school? So, W completed education, that means we have to look at the second table and tell how many were not in school. So, not in school are 300 students. Now the next two questions have extra data given to us. So let us read that data and then answer these two questions. In a following, uh, in a follow up survey of the same kids two years later, it was found that all the kids were now in school. Okay. Now all the kids are in school means these, the value of O becomes zero. So these values no longer exist, right? Now let us read the further conditions. It says that that uh, of the kids who were not in school earlier, in one region, 25% were in G now, whereas the rest were enrolled in P. In the second region, all such kids were in G now, while the third region, 50% of such kids had now joined G, while the rest had joined P. Okay, so let us understand it. In one of the regions, 25% went to G. You can take G or P, anything, does not matter. In another region, 100% went to G and the third region 50% went to G. Okay, which region we will have to figure out from the information. Now it says as a result in all three regions put together 50% of the kids who were earlier out of school had joined G. Now we will not take these tables separately but as a combined value. So if we see North, East, West and South, previously there were 600 students who were not in schools, 1200 plus 300, 1500 not in school and here there were 300 schools, 300 students not in schools, right. In one of them, 25% go to uh, 
G in one hundred percent, in another fifty percent. Right now, it is also given that uh, now all three regions put together. So all three regions put together is twenty four hundred students. Out of them, fifty percent had joined G. Now out of these, twelve hundred will join G. Okay, so twelve hundred will join G. You can take for P also; it does not matter. Okay, so twelve hundred should join G. In one of them, you should get twenty five percent, hundred percent, and fifty percent. Now observe carefully. If you give hundred percent here, very obvious this will become fifteen hundred in G, but this total is twelve hundred, so we cannot give hundred percent here. Suppose we give twenty five percent here, it becomes three hundred seventy five. Now we have fifty and hundred. Right. So, if you take fifty and hundred percent, the last digit will be zero, and the last digit will be zero. Okay. So, it will not be twelve hundred. So, we cannot give twenty-five percent also. So, we will give fifty percent to this region. So, fifty percent. That means seven fifty join here. Okay. Now we have to give twenty-five percent to one of these and fifty percent, hundred percent to another. So, by hit and try, if you give hundred percent here. You will see that this is six hundred, which is not possible. So we will give twenty five percent in this region and hundred percent here. So hundred percent means three hundred and twenty five percent means one fifty, which perfectly adds to twelve hundred. Okay, so this is the transfer. Now the question is, what number of surveyed kids now were in G in W? So we are talking about the W region. So seven hundred fifty kids have moved to G. Now previously there were forty two hundred plus ten fifty five thousand two fifty seven hundred fifty have now moved so the number has become six thousand. Now same condition the question is what percentage of the kids in S whose mothers had dropped out before completing primary education were in G now so we need to focus on this table. Kids in S, right? So kids in S whose mothers had dropped out, okay, were in G now. So we are talking about the south region, and we need to find how many of them are in G now. So there were three hundred people, and all three hundred have moved in south region to G. So now we have fifty four hundred people in G out of total fifty seven hundred students, right? So it is eighteen by nineteen. Right, one by nineteen is roughly five percent, five point something. So it will be close to ninety five percent. Eighteen by nineteen is roughly ninety five percent, or you would say that it is five point three percent, roughly five point two, five point three. So it is around ninety four point seven percent. That is the answer to this question.